Little Richard was an average boy. He was an average boy with a normal personality and a normal teenage life. Unfortunately, one day, Richard's parents passed away. Richard had an uncle, Uncle Benny. Shoot. Uncle Benny said, Richard, I take you into my family. Upon the first couple of days, it was quite awkward to have a new father figure in his life. But throughout the months, Uncle Benny would tell stories to little Richard and these stories would be of great mystery and wonder. And little Richard would listen. Richard was quite a loner and he would often eat lunch alone. But this year when he was sitting alone, this one female come to him and say, Hi, my name is Miranda. Would you eat lunch with me? Richard say, yes, I eat lunch with you. So they eat lunch together and they become good friends. So they start talking about stories and they start talking about politics in the real world, real life. Richard joined the debate club and he win many debates. He be political debater when he grow older. That's what he said he want to do. And he says he knows politics real well and he knows what's right for society. Miranda was very proud. Clapping her hands, clap, clap, clap. One day when Richard was home frustrated working on his debate paper, his uncle Benny comes to him and says, Richard, what is this you are doing? Richard says, Uncle Benny, I am working on something you do not understand. I am a teenager with my own opinions and I know the political system. You're just a crazy old conspiracy man who thinks he knows the world. Instead of getting angry, Benny became very sad. Yes, he may have been 40 years old, but Benny still gets sad. You don't believe me. The stories I tell you are not just stories. They are great mysteries, great wonders of the world. Richard said, Benny, I don't have time for you and your stupid torpedo shaped head. You should leave right now before I school you with my intelligent teenage knowledges. Benny grabbed his suitcase and he walked out the door. Richard did not even say goodbye. He just continued working on his debate paper. So many days passed and Richard went back and forth to school and didn't even notice that his Uncle Benny was gone. Until one day when Richard make his way to the refrigerator, these are empty shelves with no food. Benny, Benny, where are you Benny? Richard was confused. Here's him scratching his head. In the kitchen, he found a map. On this map, there was a place where there would be a treasure X marked. Confirmed, Uncle Benny is a nut job. Richard was in a sour mood all day. He went to school and he saw his friend Maria and she was like, Richard, why are you in a sour mood? And he's like, yo, cause my uncle Benny run away. But after many argument, Maria, or Miranda, shoot, what was her name? Would she convinced Richard to find his uncle Benny? Against his will, Richard packed his bags and he decided to go on a trip. A trip to find his Benny following the map. Just as he was about to leave, Maria said, wait for me. I want to come with you. And Richard said, he said, okay, Jose. They went hiking and climbing many, many miles through mountains and forests and wilderness. And they experienced many different difficulties in the river. Jeez, this is a lot farther than I thought. And Maria the whole time is just like, I'm one of those traveling chicks. So they're in the water and they're sailing for miles and miles, miles and miles. And it gets colder and colder. And the cold breeze comes in and the breeze comes and it comes and it breezes. And then eventually the breezes turn into the ices and the ices turn into the glaciers. And the glaciers turn into a giant glacier, turn into a wall, a giant wall glacier. So they climb the wall and then they get up to the top. Maria is from a string hanging because uh, she don't know how to climb. And then they walk on the ice and they walk and they walk and they walk and they're walking. A wall that stretched for miles and miles and miles. One goes so high they can't even see where it stops. And it goes so far wide they can't even see where it widens. And they walk to the barrier and they touch the barrier. And there's no getting through the barrier. But then Maria spots, she spots something out of her eye. Door. Let's open the door. When they get to a the door, a booga booga booga, a jester pops out of nowhere. He says, 
Howdy my citizens, why do you seek knowledge and knowledge? Richard says, listen Mr. Jester, I am just looking for my uncle. And Maria says, Richard, there's a Jester. And the Jester says, listen, I may let you in the door, but I must let you know on the other side of the door contains knowledge that'll blow your mind. Richard says, I, I don't care, I just want to find my uncle and go home and eat a snack. And Maria says, maybe we shouldn't do this anymore. And Richard said, you just told me you want to do this before and now you say we don't want to do this? So the jester lets him through the door. And the door is be opened, walks through the door with Maria. What they see is something like no one has ever seen before. Richard's mind is completely, completely flipped. It is a wonderful place of many green lands and many rivers and many life and pretty beautiful birds birds and birds and giant creatures and little jungle jesters they say hey we love you we love you welcome we love you we love you welcome welcome but Richard says wow my uncle was right all along it really does exist can it really be that simple they go exploring and they meet the local people and they meet the little jesters and everybody becomes good friends and the jesters give Richard many snacks and Richard's very happy and it's a wonderful, wonderful time. But Richard becomes very distracted and he continues to eat his foods and love the time. She not so certain. She's remembering the true mission. They came to save Richard's Uncle Benny, but all Richard can do is just eat the candies the jesters bring and give. What kind of a nephew is this Richard? Maria has decided she would continue the journey behind Richard's back as she goes and she searches. She goes up to a teepee and inside this teepee there is a little fire. So she, she goes and she peeks, she peeks inside this teepee and in the fire Uncle Benny is being cooked like a sausage by the little jester people. She is feeling sick. The little jester people then proceed to eat Uncle Benny. Maria runs, oh, wrong color, runs faster than lightning. She meets up with Richard and she tells Richard all about the story. She says, Richard, Richard, and Richard says, I'm trying to eat food here, okay? And you coming to tell me all this drama stomatic stuff? And she says, no, Richard, please. They kill them and they light them up and then they eat them up. Richard says, please, Maria, now you're really crazy. And then Maria said, no, Richard, you're crazy. So Richard said, get out of my face. So Maria did body weight beast and got very, very strong. She decided to fight. And so she seeks the vengeance and she tears the little jester people apart. Lights the place on fire for the evil they are, the deceivers and the deceptions. Richard saw what was happening and he had no choice. He said, Maria, why do you make me do what I'm about to do? Maria said, listen, Richard, it's all a deception. You've been lied to your whole life. Everything is a lie. And now we know the truth, but the truth is evil. And there's only one way to be good. You must put the gun down and believe. And Richard said, the only thing I want to believe in is my chimichangas that I was about to eat before you go and wrecked everything. So Maria had no choice. She used her speedy power that she developed from Bodyweight Beast. Took the gun from Richard. She said, stick him up Richard. And Richard said, I can't, my arms are too fat. Um, instead of shooting him, she just left. And she make it all the way back home, running, doing her cardio. Meanwhile, Richard is on the inside. I deserve so much more than this. And then the little jester people do to him what they were planning to do to him. <laughs> they eat Richard alive. You should have respected your uncle. So remember to follow your heart and uh, you know do us right. Be sure to check out my channel, Pick Me One Two Three. Um, subscribe because I got daily uploads Monday to Friday. Become a squad and turn your notifications on. I see you on the next video. But you gotta focus.